Well, Governor Kathy Hochul recently signed legislation to support living organ donors. Today, our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein speaks with one assembly member, a living organ donor himself, about how this bill could impact New Yorkers. Governor Kathy Hochul signs into law the New York State Living Donors Support Act, the first state program in the nation to allow individuals to be reimbursed for the costs of kidney and liver donations. The legislation intends to eliminate financial barriers to organ donation to reduce wait times for organ transplants and address the organ shortage in New York. Local Assemblyman Phil Palmasano says he has seen firsthand how organ donation can impact the quality of life. Palmasano's sister Teresa had juvenile diabetes. She received her first kidney transplant in 2000 from a stranger. And in 2006, when she needed another one, Palmasano stepped in. To be able to do that is probably one of the most rewarding things I've ever done to be able to help out my sister and see how that impacted her life, her quality of life. Palmasano highlights that New York State has the third highest need for donors, but the third lowest donor enrollment rate. There are currently more than 8,000 people on the transplant wait lists and more than 7,000 people waiting for a kidney, according to the Organ Procurement Transplantation Network. But this legislation could help encourage more people to be living donors, Palmasano says. And it's just one two more tool that we can use to help get more people to sign up and register to be an organ donor today. Moving forward, Palmasano says the legislature could look at introducing resolutions or new bills to further combat this issue. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.